So ladies and gentlemen, listen, if you go to the farmer's market and you haven't seen all the great fruits and vegetables and scenery around town, then you need to go to Mike's page on Facebook because he takes the best pictures of food I've ever seen. <laughs> and Kat and I call it food porn, but you know, he really gets up and close with the personal stuff on the pictures. And that's right, that's right. Are you leaving us for good, honey? Oh, okay, no, okay, there we go. I was gonna have to sit next to Mike, you know. Oh, okay, just wanna make sure, yes, okay. Oh yeah, well we're truly, like I said, most of the people that we're meeting now is because of Mike. He's a great networker here in Tucson, so we are truly proud of exp uh, exposing that he knows us. And uh, he has already now a follower here, and uh, he'll probably have more, a couple more groupies by the, the, the end of the night. And thank you, Terry, for showing up as well for support. And we will definitely have her on the show, because Kat and I, and she have something in common that will be promoted here in Tucson. But ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Mr. Mike Moriarty. <laughs> Mr. Mike Moriarty Photography, is that correct? It's uh, Michael Moriarty Photography and Social Media. Dang, see, you got me again. I'm gonna get it right. Well, tell everybody about yourself, Mike. So, um, I started my business about three years ago at the farmer's market, actually, at St. Phillips Plaza. And what I did was I went around and I was taking pictures of uh, different vendors, fruits and vegetables, and posting them on Facebook for them. Well, people saw what I was doing and it just caught on fire and restaurants started hiring me for uh, menu shoots and then I was asked if I could do websites and uh, it's just gone on and on from there. <clears throat> well your photographs are beautiful and I want to, yes, um, you. yes okay. there you go. Um, I want to, uh, can you hold this? Yes, I will, do the, I will be the uh, my partner girl. Well I, I want to hold up one of these beautiful uh, photographs that uh, Michael is giving away to two special lucky people tonight here in the audience. Uh, the beautiful art photograph and signed and autographed. Oh, wow, that uh, of, of some of our um, desert flora here. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so thank you, thank You're you, Michael. Thank you. I truly en enjoy your uh, photographs and I see them on Facebook. And so not only Facebook, but a lot of local magazines are starting to recognize my work. I'm actually a featured artist in Tucson Happenings, oh, this month, yes. the August issue. There we go. Definitely show that up closer, but yes. I also have photos in Green Living Magazine this month, and I'm in Oro Valley Voice newspaper. And then next month I'll be in Edible Baja in Green Living again. You got time to come to our show? Congratulations. I and hook you up with people. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Thank you. Well, Michael, what, um, how did you get started in photography? So, actually I picked up a camera when I was about nine years old and I haven't put it down since. I met a famous photographer when I was about ten, which gave me a few tips and I was just inspired after that to continue with what I was doing. And um, it just, you can see it's just growing and growing yeah, all the time. And using Facebook as uh, networking is really helping because people are seeing everything that I'm doing and it's just getting the word out there more. Mm -hmm. It's such a powerful tool, social media. Yes, it is. And you are on it every day, so. Well, yes, I have about 10 local Tucson clients that I monthly take care of their Facebook page for them. I post photos or their events or what have you. Uh, like I said, I was food and, I'm food and root staff photographer, so I take care of their Facebook page. I also take care of Alfonso Olive Oil, uh, Alfonso Gourmet Oil. Which is some fantastic photos. <laughs> <I'm telling you. laughs> and um, I shoot food for Renee's Organic Oven. And I'm starting a Kickstarter project. Well, actually, I have started it. It's called Southwest Farm to Table Recipes. And what it's going to be is um, a recipe book of farm food that's raised at the farm and the food that's prepared at the restaurant. And I'm going to make a recipe book out of it. Uh oh. With my photography. Wow, I, I, I have to get a copy of that. <laughs> 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 Just a food and recipe for now, that's, that's all. Hey, you, you, you truly are dangerous. So if anybody needs your help, you know, get the word out, because you really have helped us 
you know, promote our show. And we are truly thankful. We really want to partner up with you for a long time and promote what you're doing in Tucson as well. But if somebody else wants your services, how do they get in contact with you? So you can go to my website, which is michaelmoriartyphotography.com, or you can go to my other website, which is msqrd2.com, both doing with social media and photography. Awesome, awesome. Well, he is fantastic. I'm telling you, if you even look at one of his pictures, you're going to want to have to like all the pages that he, he works for because he gets really close and they are really they're very uh, they're professional photos. They really are. That's the kind you see on these commercials. You go, why does my burger look like this? Because <laughs> they hire people like this to stage it and make it look good. So. And I don't use WD-40 like most <laughs> I like to be able to eat it up. <laughs> Exactly. We love that kind of work, too. That's right. So thank you for so much for coming on our show. We truly appreciate it. And thank you for everybody that you brought to our show. You know, Alfonso is a great guy. We really want to work with him. So anybody that's out there, really, we, you know, we're all about helping each other, getting the word out about what we're doing here in Tucson. And this man can make you look really good. So everybody give it up for again for Mr. Michael Moriarty.